I think it is very important to underline that we are witnessing in the Sahel a dramatic humanitarian situation. The number of refugees from Mali has reached 260,000, and they are in countries that are facing a very difficult food security situation. Mauritania, Niger, Burkina Faso have kept their borders open, have shared their resources in a very difficult economic situation and in a very difficult food security situation for their own peoples. And so I would like to make a very strong appeal, not only for UNHCR operations, but a very strong appeal for the international community to come together and support the Malian refugees and support the host countries and the host communities, many of them living in as desperate economic situation as the refugees themselves. There is a very serious threat for peace and security, not only for the whole region, but in my opinion, with global implications. So it's not only a question of solidarity, it's a question of enlightened self-interest for the international community, even here in Europe, to be committed to the solution of this crisis and be committed to support the people in need. If proper humanitarian assistance is not provided and if a political solution is not found, the risk of this conflict to go far beyond Mali is, in my opinion, enormous. Now, this is a very tough year for crises, as the High Commissioner knows well. We're uh, looking at refugees fleeing Syria. We see refugees fleeing from the south of Sudan into South Sudan and Ethiopia. And uh, we also have our um, regular needs, uh, such as um, camps in Kenya for Somalis. And so what we're finding is everything is being stretched thin. And you're all reading about what's happening in Syria on a daily basis, but we were concerned that this particular crisis has been neglected. First.